Question seven. The diagram shows the curve of the equation y plus, uh, x equals y plus 4, natural log of 2, y plus 3. Ooh, x equals. The curve crosses the x-axis at a and the y-axis at b. Find the expression for dx by dy in terms of y. Well, don't, don't be put off by the fact that everything is swapped around. Because all that's happened is that everything has swapped around. I've just got it written as what x is a function of y, and we're after dx by dy. So we're just gonna we're just gonna differentiate this normal. There's no big tricks here. What kind of a thing is this to differentiate? Product rule. It's a product rule. It's y plus four times the natural log of two y plus three. If you want to write it out formally in full, then you can do. Uh, dx by dy would be. Remember the product rule says it's the first times the derivative of the second. So it's the first y plus four. If we differentiate the natural log of 2y plus 3, that's a function of the function thing as well. That's natural log. It's a natural log, big bear, of something, because it's 1 over something, times by the derivative of the inside bit, <coughs> a little bear, which would be 2. Plus, that was u to v by dx plus v. The second, Time to do to the first. Now this, what do you get to differentiate y plus 4? We just get 1, don't we? So this is just the natural log of 2y plus 3. Um, what have we got there? There's not an awful lot we can do to, to tidy this up. We've got two lots of y plus 4. I find myself now just writing the same thing again. There we go. I think I think we're gonna I think we're gonna take our marks at this point and run away with you. That's uh, three marks for doing that. Wow. Find the gradient of the curve at each of the points A and B, giving each answer correct to two decimal places. Ah, damn. One of the things here is we don't have before we get any further here. We don't have any. We don't have many coordinates going on for these. What coordinate do we need? We need we need the y values, don't we, for a and b? We don't need the x values. We need the y values for them because our the x by the y is in terms of y. Uh, it does say it does say find gradient. A gradient is rate of change of y with respect to x. So we're going to have to somehow turn this back into dy by the x. We're going to have to take the reciprocal at the end of this. Um, right. Here we go then. Uh, let's work these through. The point A, well that's quite easy. The point A, what is the y value at A? It's zero, it's zero isn't it? So at A, y equals zero, in which case the x by dy would be equal to what we've got there. If we put zero into this first fraction, we have eight on the top and 3 on the bottom, and we have the natural log of 3. There. Um, what did it ask us for? Find the gradient, giving each answer correct two decimal places. So we've got for this, 8 over 3 plus the natural log of 3 is 3.765. Eight. I don't know why I've written that many different places. The question said the gradient, gradient is divided by the x. One over three point seven six five two eight. So if we take the reciprocal of that, we get naught point two seven. Yes. They wanted it to two decimal places. Okay. That's a little bit of a, a nasty sting in the tail of this, because I think quite a lot of people would have got, would have got that and thought, oh great, I got that. And then for, forgotten that gradient is the rate of change of y over the rate of change of x, so we need to take the reciprocal of dx by dy to get dy by the x. Now, we've got a little bit more to do with part with the b here. b is the point, what have we? 
values about B is the point we need to know the Y value of B. What do we know about the point B at the moment? It's where X equals zero. Okay, so at B, X equals zero. If X equals zero, um, then we've got zero is y plus 4 times the natural log of 2y plus 3. Alright. Um, we've got two things multiplied together that give the result of zero. tells us that either um, y equals minus 4 or, um, what about this one here? That means it's equal to 1 to If we e to, the, e to the 0 is 1, so that means that 2y plus 3 equals 1. So 2y is negative 2, so y is minus 1. Okay. Let's think about these two answers that we've got, because we've got two answers, and b is only one point, isn't it? y equals minus 4. If you sub minus 4 into that bit there, 2 lots of minus 4 plus 3 is negative 5. We can't take the natural log of negative 5. Natural log is only defined for positive numbers. So that answer, y plus minus 4, is not valid. That doesn't make any sense to have y equals minus 4, because it doesn't fit the original equation. We're left with y being minus 1. If y equals minus 1, if y equals minus 1, that's quite fierce, wasn't it? Um, we sub that in to our dx by the y, and we get... What was it? Um, two lots of three over one plus the natural log of um, one. That's the whole point, isn't it? So we end up with six. Out of that, and finally. The gradient is the reciprocal of that. Again, how many people would have got to the end of that and forgotten the potato that such was their relief? Tim? Yeah, I think that's two decimal yeah. places. Oh! No. Um, hang on. They, they accepted a six. You're right. That, that seems, whoops, that seems just crazy to me to an uh, uh, accurate answer into an approximate answer. But anyway, there we go. Okay, thank you.